Good evening, Highlander families. My name is Kate O'Brien, and I have the privilege of serving as the principal of Hazen High School. On behalf of the Ritten School District, welcome to the virtual commencement exercise for the 51st graduating class of Hazen High. It is my honor to now present the national anthem played for us by graduate Kevin Zhu. <laughs> At this time, please welcome graduate Bella Cuno to give our opening address. I believe it is fruitless to attempt to write a final draft of this speech. There is so much more I want to say and so many things I will forever want to revise. So instead what you are hearing is simply my best rough draft, for I will never be able to adequately express how much Hazen has meant to me. If you know me at all, you know it does not take much to make me cry. So since it may be too hard to avoid tears, if I begin with everything at Hazen we will miss, I'll talk about the things that I'm pretty sure we won't. We won't miss the awkwardly long pause over the intercom in the morning between when Rusty says to stand and then when he actually begins the Pledge of Allegiance. Love you, Rusty. We won't miss the body slamming in the hallways while everyone tries to get home after fifth period or the snail-like speed of a crowd as we migrate downstairs for an assembly. We won't miss the sights or smells of the commons during homecoming. We won't miss sweating uncontrollably while packed shoulder to shoulder on the bleachers at a pep assembly. And we certainly won't miss our class somehow always being cheated with the most obscure song for the class competition karaoke games. If you enter the notes app on my phone, you'll find one titled, If I Do a Senior Speech. It was created toward the end of our sophomore year to keep track of what I wanted to say if I was ever lucky enough to have the honor of speaking to my class. However, I didn't write any of these bullet points with the aim of delivering them to the lens of a camera. I wrote them intending to look out across a crowd of almost graduates, 376 of my friends. Seats filled with bright smiles and eyes sparkling with excitement, the energy and spirit palpable in the air. I imagine I'm not alone in the entirely valid grief over what might have been. However, let us not agonize over what we could have had, but rather appreciate everything we did. I know that even if I can't be speaking directly to an auditorium full of Highlanders, I am still addressing the people that I most respect and admire. We're all familiar with the concept of peaking in high school. <laughs> However, I don't think such a thing is even possible. Peaking in high school implies that our lives are a single curve marked by one vertex. I think our lives are instead made up of hundreds of arcs, hundreds of highs and lows, hundreds of little failures balanced by little victories. Whether high school seemed like a four-year valley or a four-year peak to you, I believe that our tallest high points have yet to come, and we're ready to power through our lowest on the way there. Fortunately, at a low point like this, we have the help and flexibility of our teachers, administrators, student leaders, and of course, our amazing senior class officers to help keep us afloat. We have each other. Even though we may now find ourselves in this valley, we have still had the incredible honor of attending school with our fellow members of the class of 2020. I mean, imagine how lucky we have been. We were born at a minuscule tick mark on the timeline of humanity, our lives each leading us to Renton and later to a diploma from a school on Hoquiam Ave. We've spent the last four years surrounded by talent, intelligence, determination, pride, unity, and achievement. If God or the universe or fate meant for us all to end up as Highlanders, then I'm sure it meant for us to end our high school careers like this too. Whether we like it or not, we will come out of this stronger and braver. 
In a time like this, each passing day convinces me that being equipped for fighting justice and forging unity is more vital than ever. Graduating in a historic year, we will have grown a layer of thicker skin to protect against whatever challenges are daring enough to later face the class of 2020. Believe me, they'd better be some pretty darn big ones to even stand a chance. Writing this speech has been far from easy. I put a lot of pressure on myself to make it the best it could be, even if I knew, like I said before, that it would never be the perfect final draft. I would write a few short sentences and look up from my computer at my graduation gown, all that we have accomplished somehow captured within this blue polyester. Draped from my door, it looked a little bit melancholy, as if it knew that it wasn't going to be worn under the right circumstances or in the right setting. I wanted to make that gown proud. I wanted to make up for its loss of a real ceremony. And I wanted to try and use my small role in today to do the same for my class. However, this speech is quite possibly the last thing that us members of the class of 2020 will cherish about our Hazen experience. There are so many other details that are far more deserving of memory. The huge mural of a shirtless Scottish man in a kilt on our gymnasium wall, for example. The huge white water tower in our backyard that most of us naively thought we might climb one day. The hallway outside the pool whose temperature never falls below 80 degrees and a choir room that always feels just as hot. The class dance off at the homecoming tailgate and the sharp mist of rain that makes its way through the Renton Stadium bleachers. The quiet of the hallways around 3 p.m. when the only sounds you can hear are laughs from leadership kids staying late painting a discussion flowing from the open door of a club meeting or the muffled music of a drill or cheer practice. Water fountains that dispense a liquid that tastes like anything but water. Finally, a mural above the stairs that says, quite truthfully, through these halls walk the greatest people in the entire world, the Hazen Highlanders. What really matters, what is to be remembered, is not a six minute speech or the shimmer of a grad gown, not shaking a hand or snapping a quick picture. Although these things are customary and valued, what has truly shaped us and helped us grow are the things we've spent each day surrounded by. The big and little things we will or won't miss. The peaks and the valleys. The greatest people in the entire world. Class of 2020, thank you for every memorable high point and each valuable low one. Thank you for showing me that there is more to school than just classes and more to life than just school. Thank you for giving me the best classmates, supporters, role models, and friends I could ever ask for. Thank you for shouting the fight song in your loudest voices and cheering until the air in your lungs no longer permits. Thank you for the things I'll miss and all the things I probably won't. Thank you for four unforgettable years. I know there are many more to come, whether together, separate, or six feet apart. Although we may not be able to embrace our neighbor and sway offbeat for one last rendition of our alma mater, I ask simply that we please stay true to its lyrics. Let there be no last farewell. I love and miss you all so dearly. Thank you and go Highlanders. It is now my honor to introduce Dr. Damian Patinod, Superintendent of the Renton School District, who has special remarks for the class of 2020. It is truly an honor to participate in tonight's virtual graduation ceremony. And one of the great things about graduations is that it presents an opportunity to say thank you. A thank you to those who helped you along your journey, or a thank you to those whose support never wavered. And the first group I wanna thank are the people watching this evening that have helped this year's graduates of Hazen High School get to where they are today. To the parents, guardians, extended family and friends, on behalf of the Renton School District and Hazen High School, thank you for your love, time, support, encouragement, and discipline that you have provided over the years, which was even more critical during the last three months. Another group deserving a sincere thank you is the outstanding staff at Hazen High School. When the school year started, none of us could have predicted what would have happened beginning in March. Yet, you adjusted, persevered, and put every ounce of your energy towards ensuring that tonight's graduates would earn their diplomas. Graduates and families, I truly hope you understand and appreciate the dedication the staff at Hazen High School, as well as staff throughout the entire Renton School District, has brought each day, which has been even more impressive 
during this closure. I am blessed to have the opportunity to serve as their superintendent, and it is my great pleasure to say thank you to them. And now to the reason why we are here, the seniors. And I want to begin by acknowledging the elephant in the room. I know that this is not the graduation experience you hope to have this June. And I want to sincerely apologize for not being able to hold a traditional ceremony. Now, graduations, whether traditional or virtual, symbolize a transition from childhood to adulthood. In some ways, your transition to adulthood happened before tonight. Over the last three months, you have learned that life can change in an instant. Some of you have lost loved ones. Some of you have lost jobs or your family members are currently unemployed. Additionally, over the last three weeks, you have seen cities burn as our nation continues to wrestle with the scourge of racism and our failure to, failure to recognize the worth and dignity of each American, especially black Americans. I would argue, however, that you have also learned that since tomorrow was promised for no one, that you must seek to get all you can out of life. You have learned that you should take the time to express your love and appreciation to family and friends. And you have learned that it takes a community coming together to support those in the community who have the greatest needs. Now from tragedy or challenge comes reflection. And from reflection comes a renewed focus and sense of purpose, as well as the opportunity to act. Tonight's graduation, graduation is one of several transitions you have already made. And it is representative of the many more yet to come. While you should definitely hold on to the exuberance and energy that comes with youth, I want you to also be ready to face a world that might be cold and unwelcoming at times. This is why our community and nation need your generation more than ever. While it is not uncommon to hear older people complain about younger people or younger generations, the reality is that it is your generation that has an opportunity to improve on the failings of prior generations, including my own. For the next 60 to 70 to 80 years, it is you that can help us realize our nation's ideals that have all too often only been realized by a small minority of our citizens. No matter the challenges we face today, we will surmount them and move forward. However, it is you who will help ensure that we do so in a manner that fosters greater justice for all. Hazen High School Class of 2020, move forward with pride, foster greater unity in our community, and continue to turn your achievement into action in an attempt to improve the life of someone else. I wish you the very best. Congratulations. Good evening, class of 2020. I welcome you tonight to celebrate your accomplishments, acknowledge the growth you have made in your four years at Hazen, and on behalf of the Hazen staff, share my distinct pride in watching you reach this milestone. Tonight, I am immensely grateful for the advancements in technology and the willingness of many staff members who worked diligently to bring you Renton's very first and therefore groundbreaking virtual graduation. But it must be said, I am standing in an empty room. Delivering this address to people I care so much about through a video camera is very hard. It is a difficult and humbling experience to be absent the lights and screens of showwear, the sizable crowd typically drawn for Hazen's graduations, the love of our teachers and support staff, and the ability to look at each one of your faces and shake each one of your hands. Although we can get real that handshakes are probably a thing of the past and gone forever, there are parts of a traditional ceremony that can and will live on. It is not lost on me tonight that you are at home watching the ceremony and hopefully are surrounded by a small and loving community. The school theme for Hazen this year was Hazen is home. And while I do not think we meant for the theme to play out quite so literally, it's apropos to think about the home Hazen has been to us and about how the Hazen community has sustained us through difficult times, supported our learning, and served as a vehicle for change. Hazen is not just a school, but a home and a bedrock within the Renton community. Hazen currently serves over 1,700 students, but for over 50 years has been home to thousands of young adults, teachers, coaches, parents, 
administrators from all backgrounds and cultures. My own family has a long history here. Our building was a literal extension of my own home growing up, a place where as a baby, I was passed around the bleachers to anyone willing to bounce me in their lap. A place where I drove my tricycle up and down the pool hallway during my dad's practices. A place where I napped on teachers' couches during the extra long weeks. And now a home where I am raising my own family. Hazen provides a home to many types of students. We are home to many generations of retinites who have chosen to stay in our area and send their children to Hazen. We are home to families who have immigrated to our community from far off places and from right down the street in Bellevue because they know we're so much better. We are home to students of all abilities, artists, writers, scientists, mathematicians, musicians, future politicians, athletes, and community volunteers. Most importantly, as an educational institution, we are home to new and innovative ideas to sparks of thought and eye-opening discoveries, to curiosity and renewed commitments to social justice and the end of oppression in schools. A home is a place that should always provide support, care, laughter, and room for mistakes. A home is a place that provides a foundation and a safety net so that we can grow forward, but always come back. A home is made up of a community, Hazen is a special home to us because of the agreements we've made with each other to show up each day and participate in our learning community. The pandemic has separated us from our communal home. Our abilities to connect with and feel in communion with our community have been limited and in some cases obliterated. You are graduating into a world where political and historical beliefs and actions have created great cataclysms of division. You are graduating into a world that is attempting unification in a fight against a powerful pandemic, all while justifiably infighting over hundreds of years of systemic racial oppression, bigotry, and hate, leading to the loss of thousands of innocent lives of black and brown people. Graduating means that you cannot come back to your Hazen home to process these events. Your Hazen community will be here, but you need to move forward. You must use what you've learned here to move forward to build new communities of your own. Communities who will not only join the current movements, but work as grassroots and innovative groups for a unified future. Given current circumstances and your charge to move forward, my wish for the class of 2020 is that you will reflect on what it means to build and connect community. Since so many of our human communities are fractured and physically distanced, I ask you to consider the natural world for ideas about what it means to come together for a common purpose. Adrienne Marie Brown, an author and activist for social change, encourages us to look at communities of fire ants who during massive times of flooding band together by the thousands, balancing their young and their queen on their backs and float the floodwaters until they find stable ground to rebuild. She also writes about flocks of birds who before migrating do not strategize and raise resources to fund their travels, but who follow the innate call in their bodies, in their souls, working as a group and finding resources to support their journey along the way. I'm also struck by what Joe Lillian's wordling tells us about starfish, who by keeping their core intact can regenerate their bodies after a trauma. Some say that nature has a way of eliminating the most vulnerable or weakest communities. But I ask you to consider some of the communities you may belong to who have been marginalized to the shadows of our society. You may be a member of a community of undocumented immigrants, of LGBTQ plus culture, of people living with visible or invisible disabilities. Each of these communities reflects nature in their resilience, their adaptability, and the ability to move like water through and around obstacles. It's time for each of you who represents a shadowed community to step forward, to step into the sunlight that is the natural source that sustains us all and demand that those of us with privilege refuse to look away. Demand that we learn how to adapt. Demand that we join you. Complex networks in nature work in solidarity to sustain us, and it's time that we work in solidarity, in community, to sustain each other. Beyonce said, if we are going to heal, let it be glorious. 
It's time to heal, Highlanders. Move through the grief of the past months. Join together in your community. Explore nature and go forth to lay the foundation of your glorious new homes. Congratulations, we love you. Hello Highlanders. On behalf of your Renton School Board and as a Hazen alumnus myself, I am so honored to be able to celebrate with you today, albeit virtually. When I first started to think about your graduation in this very strange year we've been having, I immediately thought about the Ralph Waldo Emerson quote, it's not the destination, it's the journey. Because your time at Hazen is your own courageous journey. And it is not defined by whether or not we celebrate graduation at the showwear center or at your home with your loved ones. But then over these last few couple of weeks, we've been reminded in stark and horrific ways about the realities of the world we live in. And it made me think more about each of you and how you've had your own unique journey with different barriers and experiences that led to this ending and a new beginning. Which got me thinking of a different quote. So in my day job, I'm a child and adolescent psychiatrist. And one very brave young lady who I've been working with shared her graduation speech where she compared her journey through school and mental health issues as um, walking through fire and coming out the other side stronger. And I think that describes all of you as well. You've all been forged in fire, especially this year with being the first school in the country closed due to infection. And then trying to figure out how to persevere and come out the other side. But you know that what being tempered through fire creates? Both flexibility and strength. You are all so far ahead of previous generations because you're both flexible and strong. You have faced unimaginable, bar unimaginable barriers and are still persistently moving forward in creative and amazing new ways. On behalf of your school board, we are so proud of you and can't wait to see to what you do to better this world. And on behalf of the Highlanders that came before you, welcome to the Alumni Club. We are so excited to have you. Congratulations, class of 2020. President Teal, as the principal of Hazen High School and by the power vested in me by the Renton School District Board of Directors and the State of Washington, I'm pleased to present the 51st graduating class of Hazen High School and certify that they have met all district and state requirements for graduation. On behalf of the Renton School District Board of Directors and by the power vested in me by the State of Washington, it is my privilege to accept the 51st graduating class of Hazen High School. Congratulations, graduates. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to present to you the class of 2020.
The green wood sent the dewy air where golden treasures lie. Beneath the bonny, bonny blue, in the land of hazen high, when e'er a roving far from thee to seek our fortunes do, these golden hours the nearer be with a touch of green and blue. So let there be no last farewell among the Highland clan, for Highland hearts will always dwell in the brotherhood of man. So on our lips we seal our vow to be true to green, gold, and blue. Hello everyone, my name is Christy Lee and I had the honor of serving as the senior class president for the class of 2020. I would like to thank everyone tuning in right now under these special circumstances. Thank you to the families, friends, and loved ones who would do anything to cheer on the graduates right now. And thank you to the teachers and staff for not only supporting us when in person, but for supporting us at home. Thank you to my senior officers, Kyla Mohan, Winnie Leung, and Michaela Rivera for their constant dedication towards our class. Thank you to our class advisor, Mrs. Hewitt, for the endless amount of support. Nothing could have been done without you or all your hard work. Last but not least, Thank you, class of 2020. Thank you for being such an amazing and inspiring group of people. There are no words to express the amount of gratitude and genuine love I have for you guys. You all deserve to be immensely proud of your accomplishments, and I have no doubt that all of your hard work and perseverance throughout these last four years will lead you to hopeful new beginnings. Now is the time for the turning of the tassel. This represents our transition from students at Hazen High School to graduates of Hazen High School. Members of the class of 2020, please turn your tassel from the right side to the left side.